This is called a tone up cream. It's basically like a regular cream, but it has whitening properties and it makes your skin look brighter, more natural, youthful, hydrated, and all those other good stuff. I heard a lot of Korean celebrities like to use tone up creams on their off duty looks. On their off duty looks. Off, on their off duty days. It looks like they have makeup on almost, but it's just really a cream. I'll do half my face first so you guys can see the difference. So as you can see the difference, this one is a little bit more brighter than this side. You know, we're busy people, we're tired, and sometimes our skin can show that it might look a little dull. So something like this, it's super light and it just brightens up your overall complexion. If you have acne prone skin, you might be thinking like, that's something that only people with nice skin could do. But honestly, I use tone-up creams when I had cystic acne and that's probably the best thing I did for my face in terms of makeup. I mean, I know what it feels like to have acne and all you want to do is just cover it up with concealer and foundation. I mean, there are days where you want to wear makeup, which is fine, but you know, it's also good to let your skin breathe and not, you know, pack so much product onto your acne. So you can stop here with the tone-up cream, but if you want to go a little bit more and you are concerned about like your pores or your dark circles, you can go ahead and put concealer. This concealer is so light that it blends perfectly just using your fingers. I'm also gonna put a little bit under my eye because I got like three hours of sleep last night. So. I'm just gonna take a puff. I've used this many times in my videos. If you guys are wondering, it's from the Vant Cushion. Um, I love this puff. It's just so like bouncy. And you just shake it up. I'm gonna spritz this all over my face. You can use this as a toner, you can use it before or after your makeup. Use it whenever your face is dry, it's just like a good all around mist. Now my face feels extra hydrated. Eyebrow pencil, I love this. It just gives your eyebrow the most natural look. And if you guys are wondering about my triple eyelid, Still got it. I'm using a very light hand right now. You know that natural like blush you get after you work out? I want to recreate that. Barely touched. I mix these two right here, but really just use whatever color you want. You see how that kind of opens up our eye a little bit more? Like that. So now that the eyelashes are curled, I'm gonna put on mascara. I feel like I repeat a lot of my makeup in a lot of my videos, but that's because I really just love it and I have yet to find another one that tops it. I'm gonna put just a bit on the eyelash like that. Boom. When I have very minimal makeup, I like using bright red lips. I always find that these colors, they make your skin look nicer and brighter. This is a YSL matte tint in number one. I've got so many questions on what color I'm wearing and it's this. I've been only wearing this. I'm so obsessed with it. But like I said, it is a matte and especially for this look, you want something a little bit more glossy. You guys can tell how how obsessed I am with this lip tint and that's because it's so versatile. I can make this look like a very natural my lips but better. I'm gonna take the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour protectant cream. And then I'm just gonna use a little bit. We 
we just defined the brows, made them look super natural, and put a little bit of shadow just at the edge of our eyes to make our eyes look a little bit bigger. And then we have nice coated mascara, rosy cheeks and lips. And we are pretty much done. I'm just gonna use the mist one more time and put it all over my face. And I'm gonna use it at a distance. So this is the final look and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, please like this video and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!